Hey, what's happening guys? Furious Pete here, and this is Furious Talks. Do you guys hear about, or have you guys been spammed lately on Facebook or any social media website lately about these French Islander fishermen from, actually they even mentioned Mexican fishermen, are using live dogs and live kittens as bait to catch sharks. If you guys got on these messages, I keep getting spammed everywhere. Uh, I literally got like 10 people telling me to sign this petition uh, on Facebook about people, you know, fishermen using live dogs and live kittens to catch sharks. Now, you know, right away they showed a graphic image about basically what you'll see is in the thumb that you saw in the thumbnail of this video. You'll see a dog uh, with a hook through his nose and uh, very terrifying eyes and whatnot. Now, when I first read this article, I thought, holy shit, that's, that's fucking horrible. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I personally, you know, I'm a dog lover. I have a dog. I absolutely love my dog. And, you know, the thought of anything to happen to him or just thought of, you know, people doing that to d live dogs and live kittens is beyond me. Now, <laughs> lo and behold, uh, I've been reading way too, I kind of jumped the gun way too early many times, and I think a lot of us do, uh, when we see horrific things like that and think, this is so bad, this is just, oh my god, and, and you don't, you know, you don't necessarily look to see if there is truth to this story. There's people that are asking me to sign this petition to stop these fishermen and whatnot, and really... I'm really thinking that these petitions that are going around is actually just this, a guy to formulate some kind of mailing list to spam you later on with other things. Because when I looked into this, I figured, found out that the story is actually a hoax. Not a hoax entirely, because these fishermen from, from the French islands um, actually do use animals as bait. However, all these animals are already deceased. They're already dead. More than likely, they found these animals uh, on the road, you know, as roadkill, or, you know, certain animals die in, in households or whatever, and they're basically using a lot, uh, dead animals as bait for sharks, because what the hell is the point of using a live dog um, as opposed to a dead dog as bait? Seriously, let's let's... Let's analyze this. Is the shark really going to start, you know, going after the swimming thing? Most sharks uh, out there, or there's some, <laughs> there's a lot of breeds of sharks actually that are really stupid and they'll really attack anything. Any scent of blood is what they really go for. And whether alive or dead, I think a dead animal is more than likely to give out a lot more blood rather than, you know, a live one swimming away, whatever, and just has a hook, hook through their nose, which really won't give out that much blood. The picture is the, the thing that, you know, it's like, well, what, are, like, you know, okay, the story is a hoax and they just use dead animals rather than live animals, you know, it's obviously, you know, I guess it's a good way to catch sharks. I mean, shark hunting is apparently a really bad thing too. Uh, however, people are going to do it regardless. And, you know, in some places it is legal and whatnot. In some places it's legal. I'm not going to get into that. I was just talking about the dead, the live kittens and live dogs. Now, this horrific picture is actually, apparently, there was um, a dog that was on a fisher's fisherman's boat uh, or something like that or on the dock and there was a hook that got it was dangling around flying around and it actually accidentally went through the dog's nose there was a video and picture that was taken and this picture was instead of just taken for you know what it actually was it was taken and a story was transformed into the fact that you know a dog got pierced and uh, was used then as bait. Uh, so that is not the fact, you know, these these people were trying to get the hook out because, well, I think this this was the fisherman's dog, you know, his beloved friend or whatever. So what I want to really get at is the story was a hoax. If you see this petition, please, I'll, I'll attach a link describing why this is a hoax and everything. This story is actually from 2005, but I don't know why I'm getting so much spam in regards to this story, so I thought I'd 
post it up just in case, or post up this video just in case you are getting spammed. I will include the link in the description below, and if you are getting spammed with this petition, you can just attach this link to as a comment uh, so that people, well, realize that what this is all about and stop giving away all your personal information so that some person can have all your information and then spam you with ridiculous crap. All right, you stay sexy. You stay hungry, and of course, get laid.